we need to round these numbers to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. First, we have 4549. Now to round to different place values, we need to remember that on the end we have our 1s and then our 10s, 100s and 1000 digits. So to round to the nearest 10, first of all we need to find our 10 digit, and I like to circle it. Then, to decide whether we need to round up or down, what we do is underline or look at the digit to the right. So because we're rounding to the nearest 10, we've circled our 10s and underlined our 1s digit. Now when we're rounding, if the digit that we've underlined is 5 or more, we need to round up. And here we have a 9, so we're rounding up. That means that this 4 is going to become a 5, because when we round up, the digit that we've circled increases by 1. So the 4 becomes a 5, digits to the left stay the same, and digits to the right, so this 1's digit, turns into a 0. So that gives us 4550. Now let's have a look at this number line because this helps us to understand what we're really doing when we round to the nearest 10. Now if I were to keep on counting up in 10s, I would eventually get to 4540, and then the next multiple of 10, I'd say, would be 4550. And 4549 is between these multiples of 10. Now when we round, what we're really asking is which multiple of 10 is this number closest to? Well, on a number line, we can see that it's closest to 4550, so that's why we round up. So now, let's try rounding to the nearest 100. We can find our hundreds digit and underline the digit to the right. So this time, we have a 4, and remember, if we have 4 or less, we round down. And when we round down, the digit that we've circled stays the same. Digits to the left always stay the same. Digits to the right of what we've circled turn into zeros, so we get 4,500. And again, the number line can help us to understand what's really happening. If I were to keep on counting up in hundreds, I would eventually say 4,500, then 4,600. Now, when we're rounding, what we're doing is working out which of these multiples of 100 is this number closer to. Now notice in the method we underlined our tens digit, and on this number line, each square is an increase of 10. So 4,500, 4,510, 4,520, and so on. Now I've labelled 4,550 because that's right in the middle of 4,500 and 4,600. And we can see that 4,549 is just a little bit less than 4,550. So that's why we round down. That's why our number is closer to 4,500 than it is to 4,600. Now to the nearest thousand, we find the place value, underline the digit to the right, and we can see that we're rounding up because we have a five. So that means the digit that we've circled increases by one, so we get 5,000. Now on a number line, if I were to count up in thousands, I would say 4,000 and then 5,000, and our number is between those thousands. Now for this number line, we're increasing by 100 with each square, because in the method we underlined our hundreds digit. So we can see that our number 4549 is in the middle of 4500, and this mark here, if I'd labelled it, would be 4600. But because it's more than 4,500, we can see that it's closer to 5,000 than it is to 4,000. And that's why, when we're rounding to the nearest 1,000, we need to round up. Now, let's round 2,382. To the nearest 10, we find the place value, underline the digit to the right. 
We need to round down, so the eight stays the same, digits to the left stay the same, so we get 2,380. Now, to the nearest hundred, we find our hundreds digit, and we can see that we're rounding up, so that's 2,400. And, to the nearest thousand, we find our thousands digit, and this time we need to round down, so the digit stays the same, so we get 2,000. Now we have 5,896. To round to the nearest 10, we find our tens digit and underline the digit to the right. So this time we have a 6, which means we need to round up. But we already have a 9 in our tens place value column, and remember we can only have one digit in each place value. So what we need to do here is circle not just our tens digit, but the digit to the left as well. So we need to circle our tens and our hundreds together. So instead of one more than nine, what we're doing to round up is adding one to 89. One more than 89 is 90. So this eight and nine are going to change to nine and zero, because one more than 89 is 90. Digits to the left stay the same, digits to the right turn into zeros, so we get 5,900. The 5 stays the same, this 8 and 9 turn into 9 and 0, because 90 is one more than 89, and then, as always, when rounding to the nearest 10, our 1's digit turns into a 0. Now, on a number line, we can see that if we were to count up in tens, we would eventually get to 5,890, and then the next multiple of 10, we would say, would be 5,900. And our number is closer to 5,900 than it is to 5,890. So that's why we round up. Now, let's round to the nearest hundred. We can find our hundreds digit, underline the digit to the right, and we can see that we're rounding up. So this 8 becomes a 9, which means we get 5,900. So we get the same answer rounding to the nearest 100 as we did rounding to the nearest 10. So sometimes we can round to different place values and get the same answer. Now if I were to count up in hundreds, I would eventually get to 5,800 and then I would say 5,900 and 5,896 is closer to 5,900. So finally, let's round to the nearest thousand. We can circle our thousands digit, underline the digit to the right, because it's five or more, we need to round up, which means this five becomes a six, so we get 6,000. 5,896 is closer to 6,000 than it is to 5,000, so that's why we round up.